Hello, I'm Mary Faulkner and I work at the Durr branch of the King County Public Library. Today I am going to teach you how to make a very simple boho wall hanging. Um, here's one example of a hanging that we're going to do today. You can see it's got a lot of different colors and then we're also going to try out this one. Um, what you'll need to get started is different color yarn some fishing line string, a dowel rod, a ruler, a pair of scissors, and optional tape, paint tape. All right, if you wanna learn how to create it, stay tuned. All right, so we're going to begin with the wall hanging that you see here. I think this is the simplest um, craft to make and you can really use a lot of different colors and show off your creativity while making them. If you'd like to make an exact replica of this one, you would need cream yarn, black yarn, gray yarn, mustard yellow yarn, and then a rust orange yarn. All right, so in order to get started, first we'll pick out our different yarn colors and then begin cutting the yarn. So generally I cut each piece to about 24 inches. So if you wanna make it easy on yourself, you could take the ruler, go down once, and then bring it back up, cut it at the tip, and then take this piece to measure up against all the rest. So you'll take it, make a cut, and then continue doing that until you get about 10. Usually I do about 10 tufts and the one that I'm making is going to be only 10 tuf tufts a piece. So once you get 10 tufts, you can stop. Just be aware that however long you cut your yarn, it's going to be folded in half. So if you do it around this length and you cut that, it's not gonna work. So make sure that whatever length you decide, it can be folded in half and still at the length that you want it. So once you get about 10 tufts of each color, you wanna kind of lay out the colors so that you can figure out exactly how you'd want it to look. So if I go by this, I have cream, I have black, I have gray, I have rust orange, I have mustard yellow, I have gray, black, and cream. So I set this out and then I can begin tying. So you want to start by kind of making sure all of the ends start at the same piece and then just cut off any excess. You can do this at the end, but it makes it a little bit easier if you start off in line. So I'll just kind of go through them on this one. And then you're going to take the yarn, hold it against here. Hold it in the front so you have a loop, pull it behind and through the loop. Then pull. So you have your first tuft. All right, so we're gonna go on to black, line it up, pull in the front, taking behind, and pulling. All right, so we're gonna go on to gray. As you can see, okay. Pull it through the loop and down. Mustard yellow. Back to gray. And 
And then finally to cream. So as you can see, it doesn't take too terribly long to create. And once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to do. So from there, we are going to take our fishing line and I think this is about 28 inches of fishing line. You can choose whatever measurements you want, but foolproof method if we use the 28. So tie it on one end, tight. And then I like to double knot it. And then we'll tie one on the other end. double knot it and then I like to add a third little knot just because I think it's kind of cute you take this knot it around pull it through and then you kind of have like this little hanging all right so I'm gonna take this one off the original one and then I'm going to sit this one up. I'm just going to take a look. Put it up here. All right. So as you can tell, unless you did it perfect, it's going to be a little uneven. So what you can do is you can either take a roller and cut the edges, or you can take some of this tape. And a lot of people like to sometimes angle it so that you have a different cut, but I'm just gonna do from the bottom. And we can cut off any of the little edges that are crooked. It's best to use some really good cutting scissors the ones I'm using are not that great, but the sharper you have it, the snazzier it's gonna look and it's going to look really blunt and professionally crafted. Over to the other side. off the tape and there we have it our first yarn wall hanging simple enough to create and really cute to hang up in your house okay so now we're going to try a different style for this one I actually used a stick I found outside so if you don't have a dowel rod or you're just looking for a more rustic look, then you can use a stick. So let's get started. I'm gonna use a dowel rod for this demonstration. So I already have my yarn cut and separated in tufts of 10. So this yarn is a little bit thicker and the texture and the thickness actually works a lot better for hangings um, and I would actually suggest doing probably tufts of 20 for this individual project um, but yeah the thicker yarn the better it looks nicer so we're gonna do exactly what we did last time you take it loop it around pull so I have it in the front pull it through the loop and pull this one from the front pull it through the loop we have four and then finally we have this one pull it through the loop 
And so we have our beginnings. Okay, so after you do that, essentially you are going to separate the second and third one into two sections. So you can count out the five things. So this one is one section. So you have the full tuft of 10, or I guess 20 once put in half, and then you have half of the second tuft. So what you're gonna do is you're going to cut out a piece of string and make sure you're using the back of what you want instead of the front. So if you like this style with this, you wanna keep it, you wanna tie it from the back. But if you like this style, then you can tie it from this way. So just keep that in mind. Whatever the tie is, you want the tie to be in the back so it doesn't look sloppy. Okay, so first thing. So I take the first tuft and I take all of it and then I take half of the second tuft. All right, I'm gonna take this and I'm going to tie those two together. So you can see, just tied half of the second and the whole of the first. All right, so now we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So the last tuft stays the same and then we divide the second one into half. We'll take a piece of string and we'll tie it around. try to place it so that the string is around the same place as the other ones so that everything looks even. Right. So like this one, this one needs to come down a little bit. All right. And then what you'll be left with is this little extension of the tuft. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tie this one as well. see what we have here all right so from there we're gonna separate the middle tuft into two and we're going to tie it tie the bottom two together as well so take out our yarn cut a piece So you get an idea of what we just did. Like that. And then, so the last two steps is we're gonna tie this together once, and then we're gonna make one more tie. Right, so this is what your final project should look like. 
Thank you for joining me on today's how-to. I hope you enjoyed my video.